So, um, this time we had a little bit of a nice, nice, lovely sports car. I would say probably a muscle car. This is the best choice what you can get for the best money. And is the best, most powerful car with the V8 engine, with the nice, lovely stuff on here. Look on this. This is just remarkable. Yes, it's SRT, supercharged, Hemi, V8, 6.2 liter. Yeah, it's supercharged. I have sometimes no words how powerful actually that car is. It actually gives you the beast out of it. It's just 707 brake horsepower and about 850 newton meters of a torque. Can you imagine that? torque when your chassis twist when you got out from the corner on the traffic lights i cannot imagine how to drive that car i never drive that car i can tell you that i just was like dreaming about that car to see that car to feel that power and uh, definitely probably you can write the comment below and tell uh, everybody and ask some more what you have experience is like into the Top Gear or the Grand Tour series, the Richard Hammond, he's been driving the same thing, the same Hellcat, the same design, all is fully the same. And probably that car is from that <laughs> lovely uh, gear changing um, TV show. But uh, I would say uh, he was like, he was like crazy there. And the power was just so high. And uh, that car is like, Iconic car. It's uh, 2024 now and you will never ever get that thing out from the factory new. It's not possible anymore because that development and uh, basically building of that car, the building line and all the production line is completely stopped. So this now is history. This car is 2016 year made. Just the same year where the Richard Hammond been driving on the same type of the car. And uh, I was just uh, watching that uh, TV show and that was love so good. And I was so impressed about that. Then, you know, these feelings, uh, you cannot basically tell anybody. And uh, just all of these, you need to feel them. And here we go. We win that car in the Copart. Yes. I not even uh, remember exactly how this everything even was happening. It was like a dream. Because we find the car, actually we done the bid on it and uh, we won that car. And it was not able to start. Uh, the keys was uh, missing. Uh, basically the car was like, you don't know nothing about it. If we're going to start, the engine probably is gone. Something is f up. So you cannot tell what exactly is wrong with that. Probably transmission is not working. Probably something is burned. Probably, I don't know, in, even pistons is gone, yes? Somebody is being stolen that car and driving on full power, full potential, and that car just, you know, engine blowed up. Everything could happen with it, yes? But in the miracle way, we just managed to program the new case. <laughs> this is the most funny thing. We just programmed the case to the vehicle and the vehicle starts. Just easy as that. It starts so simple. And uh, yes, sometimes this thing is happening. Uh, probably there was some damages, I don't know. Uh, but uh, we don't know a lot of uh, history about that car. Only what we know is already a history. It, this car is making a history. Moving on, all that stuff. Yes, definitely. There is no light. You know why? That's because there is a hole. There is a hole for SRT and you can put the hand in. Look, probably my fingers can see another side. But uh, you can see another side actually is a air filter. Air filter we already swapped out. We still need to swap this lovely thing. This is a steering pump. Steering pump, hydraulic steering pump. And definitely that need to be swapped. Another thing is we need to swap the uh, expansion tank for the cooling fluid okay because the magic pump is not giving you is giving you a hard job with the steering and this one look we have some problems in here yes it's getting like in a pieces i don't know why it's time or it's plastic style or whatever but um, actually millage is just nothing it's about 80 millage 80 miles 80,000 miles and uh, about i would say 100 30, 
kilometers, thousand kilometers. Okay, so probably for that Hellcat is not the big deal. Maybe it is. Another thing what we do now, I would say, uh, need to go for the registration and stuff like that. We definitely you can check it in Google. This you can check the win number in Google. So all it, this is a real. <laughs> Look in here, you have case, but actually uh, it was uh, fitted like without case. So what we can do now, I think so, we can remove that stop pretty much off. We don't need it anymore because we want to see it without any more stickers. We still need to get the tone off because this black windows is not good. And uh, we need to get them off. Lovely, jolly. Oh. Yes, that's it. Moment of truth. We did remove the stickers and uh, Yes, auction is the thing how it uh, normally goes. Uh, when the car goes to the auction, it gets the stickers, and then cars uh, being bidding, and people go bidding and, 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 and try to win your uh, any of car. This type of muscle car we've got. So this kind of cool, I would say. But still need a lot of fixes. We already replaced the belt, as you can see. We have the belt like uh, got the red eye. The red eye, which one is a little bit more powerful car, and the addition of red eye got exactly the green belt. So we fit on this simple except the Hellcat, the green belt. It's a little bit stronger as well. So hopefully uh, it will last a little bit more as well. So let's carry on to the working stuff to get these parts being replaced. So you need the light and the brake cleaner and we are ready to prepare and clean all that stuff. Look in here. What you need to do is just a little bit of a Give it a clean. Okay, pump it iron. Go, 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 go. Keep going, go, 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 go. Okay, I think so. Could be nice. You need to clean that. Look in here, you see this little thing? This is the place where you put your brake cleaner or coffee, whatever. Um, get the new, new, what we have new? New is... Um, uh, what was the name of this? Steering? Power steering pump. Power steering pump. Thank you very much. Power steering pump and power steering pump has been fitted enough in. You need a spanner, you need a this, this, this. Okay. Uh, yes, the steering was uh, very hard. Hard to turn. It's almost impossible when you're standing on one place. You cannot turn it. You need three bolts. Where is my three bolts? Give me the bolts. I can't hear the bolts. Bolts, no bolts, nothing, no. Yes, yes, yes. You need to put this in. Um, look, in here is the block. So you need to, I think so, get this thing out. Probably will be some oil inside, yes? Oh, yes, there is some oil in. Okay, let's put this little lever on. And then now, I will put a little bit light from this side. So everybody can see. And I can see as well. Um, we need to fit it in. So... Just lay it down, lay it down, clean everything before that, okay. Lay it down and put the bolts in. So where the bolts is? One bolt is uh, from that side, okay. It's not easiest way to do it. The place is not the best, but you have holes in... Uh, what is this? Power steering pump. Yes, but uh, holes into the... Pulley. How this? Pulley, pulley, yes. I think pulley is this, and uh, this is, uh, this is pulley. okay, this is also pulley, let's do it, let's do it, pulley have a holes, and um, it says uh, need to get the thing in, I think so, it's like a piedzinja skriemelis, but never mind, it's piedzinja skriemelis, so it's pulley, and we put this thing in, <laughs> where is another hole, I cannot see it, but I can feel it, definitely. You just use the pulley holes to pop the bolts in. I'll probably we put some speed in here to look this everything so fast we're working, you know. Grandma's story. Ah, it's cutting. We put it in to make sure our color stay free. And then you like, you know, you can like... Pop it in, pop it out, just pop like that. And keep screwing. Where is the master with screwdrivers? So I keep screwing. Cannot see your screwing. Screw it in. Screw this little neck in. And that's what he does. He does for a screwing. And uh, another thing, yes, later we fit that in. 
I will send and then we... Oh, I know what I must do. Keep screwing, keep screwing. You know what I must do, yes? I will try to knock this off. With all knacker. I think so. Somehow, somehow. If I will be able to do it. Where is the knife? I can't find the knife. Yes, I find the knife. This is not the knife. This is the knife. Hey, Slay. This is not the knife. This is the knife. I don't want to damage it. Really, really don't want to damage it. Otherwise, I don't know if I will be able to get the new one. Look, what do you think? Is it bad or is it good? After my knife, this is the knife. And it's a little bit probably the magic. I will try to find some. Oh, lovely stuff, isn't it? Good, good. What do you think? We need to fit some another. Lovely, but I don't know if it's good enough. Probably yes, probably no. One, two, are you filming? Yes. P ah, okay, filming, yes, good. <laughs> yes, 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 okay. But I think so, you must put the pose, I get the wrong. Look, what do you think? Is uh, one millimeter less, is it gonna fake? Look. It's like go, 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 go. Oh, perfect. So just now screw your screw in. Keep screwing. Keep screwing. But the thing is, I don't know how hard it must be screwed. But we have the seal in there. I hope so that seal will hold. But definitely we're going to clean with the brake cleaner. And you will see how it's going to be is it good or not i don't know why i always like to check 5000 times bolts i don't know probably i have some problem to do that in some time but definitely show me the light a little bit more so i can see what we have now just uh, feeding feeds in and mm, mm, come on you bastard come on oh, i can't believe i get that thing in now you need the pliers. Hey, where to get my pliers, please? Give me the fucking pliers. I can't see my pliers. Where did you put them? Give me the pliers. I can't put this thing in if you can't give me the pliers. Please, give me the fucking pliers. When you wait for your tools, it's just remarkable long. I wait till my assistant gonna come. Come, I have show you. What the fuck was that? Good. Give me the pliers. What do you think? Is this pliers? Probably. Okay, let's use what we have. If we have something, then we have something. I think so. Probably the pliers is in here. Yes. I can't believe. This is what I need. So at last we find it. How do you think it's holding here? Yes. It's good you have a steel somewhere. Not everywhere is just plastic. That's what your Hellcat give you. It's a steel power. Yes. See, the clamp is back on the place. It hopefully will not gonna be. Give me the check. I must always check the bolts. Give me so I can check the bolts. What was 13? Uh, what you need to do always on the Hellcat, definitely 10,000 times, just check your bolts, bolts and nuts. Usually, if you get problems with your bolts in Hellcat, where the 700 horsepower twist the chassis when you go out. Uh, from the, I don't know, for mom's parking garage, it will have to be like, yes, 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 good job, good job, good job, he done pretty much good, not too bad, I still can a little bit more add power, but just don't need to broke something, but you need to always check, and the most thing what we need to do now is, what, 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 yes, we need to put somehow, the belt on 
to fit the belt on, we need the tool. What you need is just uh, quadratic. What is this? Uh, how to say? This is a. Uh, I will uh, read. Chrome vanadium. Yes, chrome vanadium. You need chrome vanadium. But this is also chrome vanadium. Wrench. Wrench. Okay, let's take wrench and pop it in. Let's pop the wrench in. The I'm popping in good position. <clears throat> we something lost, but it's not a big deal. Where is magnetic field? Where is the magnetic field? So I can pop that thing out. Give me the field. Okay. This is magnetic field. What do you think? It's electric or mechanic? It's just magnetic field. Come on, come on, you little necker. It's coming. Who is ready to catch it? One, two, three. Good. Do it yourself. I will not gonna do it anymore. If I lose once, probably I can lose again. This mama slindraki is still holding good. And <laughs> mama slindraki is pretty much paint, uh, holds paint. Okay. Mama's Reaper's chili oil. Do you know that guy? Who knows that guy from the TikTok? You know that guy? No. Mama's Reaper's chili oil. I will show you in a moment. He's like guy, he's taking double D40. He's taking a chili and eats it. And it feels that like very hot. And then he's done. Mama's Reaper's chili oil. Okay, we wait some two hours probably till he's gonna fix that thing. Probably he will do it. Come on, pop this thing. Oh, five hours later. Yes, it was so easy if you do it correctly 10,000 times. But if you do first time for the Hellcat, it's five hours. No, oh, okay. It was not so long, but it was not easy. We fit the belt on. Now we cannot start the car and check everything because we need to pop in some fluid. But before that, we need to clean all the oil off so we can see if uh, fillet oil is going to give us some leaks. So, I want to just clean. Because if we have everything clean, then we can see if there will be some oil leakage. Okay? Perfect. <clears throat> no, it's do my tevara is suppressed. I think so definitely we will see the what's the difference if there will be some oil leak or will be no any oil leaks. So what now is just simple steps. Just pop this thing off, top bit, unscrew your oil, oil can, and try to fill that thing up. This is only way what you can do now at the moment. And hope then this is gonna fix your problem. Because if not, that means you are in big problems. Yes, yes. And hopefully that the thing is, let's pop this lovely bull, bull, bull. crap. That's little crappy. Why I can't not? What this is new technology? These things is holds straight to the bottle, just because of the nature. How much is there? Because we still go in. It's a little bit pumps. Yes, can you see this? It's pumping something. How much still need? Oh, it's a much. Oh, lovely. I think so. What we need to do now is just remove the bits off and start the engine. We start the engine and we see, do we have to something T? Huh? So when you have enough filled up oil, you can start the engine. Wrap up the engines.
I filled up a little bit too much. Is it easy or hard? Easy, yes? Oh, it's very good. It's not easy now. Lovely. No oil leakage. Looks like no oil leakage at the moment. I will put my finger to not cut into the belt. Don't do it at home. Your belt is spinning in here, don't do it at home. But you can check. I check another side the nut, okay? To see if there is no leakage. It's almost quiet. Okay, the pump problem is fixed. Good. Stop the car. <laughs>